These are the plaintiffs, Darren and Christopher Aquino. Darren says he needed to buy a car in a hurry and foolishly trusted the defendant, a sneaky used car salesman. The guy unloaded a real lemon on him, even falsified it passing a state inspection. The guy committed consumer fraud, and they want to be paid back the $4,740.11 they're now out. This is a defendant, Craig. He says Christopher technically bought the car from him, so he has no idea why Darren is even suing him or doing the speaking today. Bottom line, the guy bought a car from him. He didn't falsify any inspection documents. And as far as the car goes, he seems to have had a battery problem and is now trying to create a federal case out of it. Oh, and five grand? Ha! Ah, he's accused of unloading a clunker. All parties, please raise your right hand. You see it? Come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. Well, okay, Darren and yes. Christopher Aquino? Yes. Okay. Good afternoon, Judge. You are suing the Defendant's Auto Sale um, Corporation. You've asked us not to refer to the corporate name. Uh, your name is Craig, your first name. You've asked us also not to refer to your last name, so we'll respect that, for $4,740.11, because according to you, he sold you a lemon. Correct. Talk to me. Who bought the car? I bought the car. Chris co-signed it, but they switched it. They switched it and made him the owner. Come on, come on up, please. Come on, Chris. What? His disability judge was. I, I'm sorry. He's a, a, a party to the litigation. I well, need to. I need to talk to both of you. Okay, stand up, Chris. We bought a car. My credit was bad. Your credit was bad. Bad, bad. He had a friend that he worked with in Nassau County, where we live, for 20 years. Him and James Ogman, his partner, who's not here today. Okay. Okay. So he told Chris, don't worry, I'll get you a great deal, I'll help your cousin get a car. I said, okay, that's how it began. Okay. Now, um, I had an organization uh, for disabled. So I gave him two What is your organization? Advocates for Disabled Americans, Veterans, Police, and Firemen. Was this car I grew purchased up for the organization? Judge. It was intended to be purchased for the organization because our car got stolen. On the organization's 18th. car? Yes. How, and how is the organization buying a Mercedes again? With How? organization funds? With, or, we were financing it. So what kind of car was it? It's a 450 GL, seven seater. All right, in any event, your credit is not good. You're his cousin? Yes. Did he tell you not to talk? No. Talk to me. What I'm happened, sorry. my dear? I got the car for him because he needed a car. Okay. And I had my friend, James. How'd you know James? I know him from where we used to work together. Okay. Uh, did you go together to buy the car? No. Did you go alone to buy the car? I went alone to pick the car. Chris signed. In front of you? He didn't sign in front of me. James comes to my house with Chris. First James thing. is your business partner? James is a friend of the business, Your Honor. Friend of the business? He's not a business he partner. Okay. He doesn't work for me. He's not on my payroll. Okay. He's so, a friend of these gentlemen. Okay. So then, so how do you find the car? Do you ever go to the lot? I went to the lot. You pick out James a car. James was showing me cars. He said okay. that's his car. I understand. Partner. I don't know why you think that's Eureka. All right. So, J so you go down, you pick yes. out your car, and then you got this shenanigan going because your credit's so bad. You want him to be the, the, the co -maker. person financed. The co maker. Co maker? Was that what he was? A co maker? No, he was the primary signer on the account. I didn't have any credit information or application from uh, Darren. Okay, so my question to you is who was being financed? Chris Aquino. Only Chris Aquino. He's the what I would have happened if you would have put Darren on the application for financing? Would they reject it? He wouldn't have it? gotten approved for the low finance rate that he had gotten. He got approved. So, I mean, in other words, there's an incentive to have the guy with bad credit not be on there because otherwise they're going to pay more. Yes. Right. So... You go in, and if you're doing this, why aren't you there when the paperwork is signed and everything? Because James took me to another location on Queens Boulevard and says I got the same car a year older in black for 24 9 My wife wrote that down. She spoke with James. James is his partner. How, uh, what evidence do you have that James is his partner? Chris, that Chris, he okay, told- Okay, can he talk now? Chris, where did you get the idea that James was his business partner? He told me that he works for him. He's a broker. Okay, that's not a business partner. A broker's different. But in any event, 
Why aren't you there when he signs the paperwork? Because they bring him in alone, tell him to come there and sign this document. And did he? And he did. They had us there at different times. I don't times. understand. Chris is an adult and Chris signed a document and Chris bought a car. Not, but you, okay. Okay. Chris has a disability, so there's a comprehension disorder. Okay. So I made it specifically clear to Craig that I don't, no document gets signed without me there. Could you give me the paperwork in this case, please? What ends up happening? You pick up the Mercedes and what occurs? The bank has me down as this represent because of the disability. Okay. They know that they will, their bank says we'll transfer it over. Chris has to Wait, 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 wait. We'll transfer it over to who? To the organization, like it was supposed to be. I don't care what he's saying, he's lying. James is not here. James would have been here, we would have caught him under the gun right here and he would have testified. Why didn't you bring James? James is nowhere to be found now. It sounds like your little plan got a little messy and you want everybody else to pay for that. He buys a car. We buy a car. No, you're nowhere around. You're not anywhere. And that's the problem with do, you know, going the finagling, the little stuff that you got going I didn't on. Finagle, you, well, Judge. it is finagling. You no, want, no, Judge, you want me finagling. to pretend that you're the party in interest. You're not. He's the party in interest. When you do this kind of thing and you have a problem, it is your problem to eat. You but see? The, the, the repairs of the car have a state requirement okay. of having a warranty that they did not produce. Okay, the let's car talk was about damaged. that. That's the issue. So Judge. You, so you buy a used car from you, Chris, buy a used car from this dealership. Does it have under 100 or over 100? Under 100,000. And therefore, as a dealership in the state of New York, the law requires you to give what kind of warranty? One month, 1,000 miles. Did you? Yes. Yeah, I have a signed copy that he read. May I see that? Okay. You got the Mercedes, and then what happened? What's the first thing that goes wrong? The first thing was the electrical, okay. and I got the bills for that. First and thing that went what on, exactly went wrong with the electrical? The car was dead. It didn't start. So you had to get a new battery? I, no, I had to jump. A week later, same thing. Okay. So what did you end up later, doing to fix thing. that? After the fourth time, I took it to the Mercedes dealer because we had no papers. Him and James told me there's no warranty. No warranty whatsoever. Did you ever tell him there was no warranty? No. He wanted an extended warranty for free. You have to buy that. Okay, Indiana. here's something with Chris's signature. Is, let me just show that to Chris. Upon the signing of an agreement for the purchase and sale of a used motor vehicle, I hereby acknowledge receipt of a sample copy of Dealers New York State Used Vehicle Limited Warranty. Why are you there signing paperwork without... Um, That's me. Darren, that is you. Why are you there signing paperwork without Darren? I called him. Who? Hey, me? Yeah. To go and sign the paper. Yeah, remember I called you and they yeah. said... That's the first, that was this paper. And I'll I went to it. review this paper at his office okay. with him. Take it down a notch. What was the second time? Was there a second signature? No, it was only one signing. The right. financing? Yes. And was there a bill of sale? Yes. May I see that? And all that was signed on the same day? Yes. And was he present that day or no? Darren? No, Darren was not there. Did you ever meet Darren? Before they took delivery of the vehicle, Darren came in to look over all the paperwork and financials. Was and Thoroughly. Okay. Did you go over there to look at all the paperwork thoroughly? I went to look at, and the paper that you have, I didn't see that. I saw this. Okay, That's but did you go over there to look at the paperwork? I went over there, yes. All yes, right, Judge. so when you look at the paperwork, do you see this? No, Judge, the that's not there. That all right, paper is not there. but in any event, there. when something goes wrong, what do you do? You go to the Mercedes dealership, not to them. Because he told me I had no warranty. Okay, you deny having told him that. Uh, when they were coming to pick up the car, it wanted to make sure that there was a one-year warranty included. And I said, there is not a one-year warranty included. You could purchase one if you like. And when you told them that, they say, well, forget it. That's what we were told. We don't want the car. No, or did they take delivery? No, still came and took delivery, picked up right. the car. And then the, d the car was delivered to them, right? Yes. And show me the Mercedes repair order. So you have a pro You take delivery of the car in December. And when is it that you take it to the Mercedes? You have the date. Of there January we go. January 21st, Your Honor. January 21st. And according to you, you didn't take it to them because they say there's no warranty. According to you and Chris, Chris signed acknowledging receiving the warranty. Yes. All right, now, what, the work that the Mercedes dealership does is electrical, the battery. Yep. And some sensor. Right. Is that stuff that would have been covered in the first 30 days anyway? Is that part of the coverage or it's excluded anyhow? It's not covered anyway. It's not covered anyway because no. the limited warranty doesn't include that. Okay, so when do you get phone calls for the first time? Uh, first call was uh, 1229. 
Okay, and what did they say? Who's they? Who called you? Uh, Darren. And what did he say? It was uh, just uh, questioning the, how the, it was supposed to be in the, uh, the charity's name, how the price is wrong, how I'm a criminal, how okay. um, uh, I had, he was demanding a warranty, how I falsified the inspection, the ball oh, tires. Oh. Okay, this is in December? Uh, yeah, it was a couple of days after he picked it up, 1229. Okay, so a couple of days after he took possession. Yeah. Okay, so why are you saying that they're liars? Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. Is it safer? for a buyer to buy a used car from a private party or a dealer? Dealer, absolutely. Why? Because yeah, you can go back to them and say, hey, you, you know, you uh, ripped me off. Yeah, but a lot of people don't like used car dealers too. What do you think? That's the safest way to go. A Safe. dealer? A dealer, safest way to go. What do you think? Dealer. Why? Why, I could just take that out of context and you're like, <laughs> she's talking about her dealer. <laughs> Got it, okay. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Going inside the courtroom. The brakes needed to be repaired. Okay, but you understand and that the, the brake pads are not covered under your warranty. Under New York State, the brakes are covered within the 30 days. We read the I, statute. I don't know what you're talking about. It's part of the not covered things in the limited warranty. Chris says he signed it. But he was told not to seal with Chris alone because of Chris's disability. Yeah, pal, do you get it? How do you figure it. that when you buy a $25,000 Mercedes GL on behalf of this organization, you don't have the organization buy it, you have someone else buy it, and then you're blaming everyone else because they should have known not to deal with the person who you uh, had them deal with, who uh, acknowledges receiving the warranty, and yet you take it to Mercedes instead of the warranty. How do you figure you're gonna win? The answer is you're not. My verdict is for the defendant. And Chris, you did nothing wrong. All right, so the plaintiff's here with a chance for some last words on this case. It's a tough situation for you, tough but situation. maybe you judge, learned. What, you, what I learned is the yeah. judge didn't rule properly. Well, what'd you learn about? Um, she has a whole misunderstanding. Being of the there case. when the documents get signed at the, if I at was the at dealership. The, I was at the other location looking at the car in Queens. They lied. They lied on television, and he got away with it. He fooled the judge. What could I say? He got right. over All today. Right. But I'll come back at him another court case. Okay. We'll win another way. All right, step in here. Next to me right here, okay? Come on in here. Set, you, uh, what can you say? Well, that is not a satisfied customer right there. No, and we feel bad for that. We try to make everyone happy. We try very hard to satisfy the public. If you had come to me and wanted help, I've been known to do it many times and, and help people. What kind of help are you talking about? Uh, warranty help or getting things covered, uh, defects with cars that typically aren't covered under New York State. How about having Chris sign something when Darren wasn't around? Chris is the buyer of the car. Um, Darren is not the one who bought the car from us. As far as I know, Darren was his confidant. He reviewed the paperwork and... Uh, okay. Harvey? Okay, Kurt, here's the deal. You can actually negotiate warranties. Everybody thinks, no, 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 they're either cast in stone. They are not. You can always negotiate terms of warranties.